Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about alcohol ink painting. This type of painting is so much fun and extremely relaxing and calming to do. I'm also going to show you how I work with the ink and different techniques that I use. The paper that I'm using today is called Yupo. It is a non-porous or waterproof paper that's perfect for using this technique with. When I would go to art events and art shows and craft shows, I would see these beautiful paintings with these vibrant colors. And it made me really want to learn this technique, how they did it and what they were doing. So while I'm still a beginner in learning how the colors go together, I just love doing it because it's so relaxing and it's so fun and there's you don't make any mistakes. It's very forgiving. So it is what it is, basically. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking alcohol, which you can use rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. I'm actually using denatured alcohol, which is kind of like what you would use to clean paint brushes. But what I'm doing is dipping my paintbrush in the alcohol and dropping it on the picture. And it's creating this these bubbles Now what I'm going to do is use a tile, a ceramic tile. And what I'm doing is I'm placing the ink. I'm using butterscotch first. Now I'm going to use stream blue to make the sky. And now I'm going to spritz it with my blending solution, the alcohol blending solution, to create a sky in the ground. And as you can see, it's not blending real well. So what I can do is just wipe it off, put more alcohol solution, and wipe it off and start fresh. The tile is non-porous, so it's forgiving. That's why you can clean it. Now I'm running the colors to make my sky and ground. This is a stick called Fantastic and it's basically felt and you put blending solution on it and I'm making a tree here. So you wipe it and it's wiping the paint off. And since I, I mixed it with my blue and the brown, it's making green. And the tree can be any shape you want. Now I'm going to take my Sharpie and make outlines for my trees. I'm adding extra details to them to make them look a little more lifelike. 
and if it doesn't look good you can always blend it and put more color to it Now I'm taking a sponge paint brush, dipping it in my paint, and making leaves for the trees. And what I've done here is I've, I've dipped my paintbrush, my sponge paintbrush, in the alcohol blending solution. And you can see what it's doing there. It still has the green from the, the tree, the foliage of the trees. Now I'm taking a crimson red and I'm gonna do some flowers off to the side or a, you know, maybe scrub oak. I'm using my sponge paintbrush again. What's really nice about this technique is you can just keep creating over and over. If you don't like that, you can add more red, you can add more green, whatever you'd like to do and just keep um, adding to it until you get a product that you like. Now I'm taking a Sharpie pen and I'm gonna make the branches of the tree. Now I've taken the blending solution on my sponge brush and um, adding to the tree a little. If you want to know more about the art of alcohol ink painting, then I would highly suggest you look into finding a class or a teacher near you. You won't be disappointed.